we set up in the treehouse? Not yet, Pieface. Mum and Dad are still here. And remember how they moaned last time we played? We could try playing a bit softer. It wouldn't be much of a video for the din makers then, would it? Anyway, Athena wants it loud. Now she thinks she's a music video director. But she did say she'd show it to her dad, Dan. Yeah. If she thinks it's cool, she's going to play it to Rat Bucket. And if he thinks it's cool, whoa! So, we'd better be nice to her. Now, I've just got to get rid of Mum and Dad. What? You said you were going off to a meeting. You said you were going to be gone all day. We are. It's a special meeting of the Neighbourhood Watch next door. For young people. The Mayor's coming. The Colonel says you must be there. He wants you to help him with his talk. It'll be a nice way to make up for the trouble you caused him. It wasn't my fault his window was broken. I insist you go. It's the only way he's going to forgive us. Now go and get changed, or I'll be confiscating that guitar of yours. What? <laughs> guitar? Not today! <laughs> Nasha, you're going to have to warn Curly and Pieface <gasps> that we've been caught for this meeting, that it's next door. That we'll escape as soon as we can. That. <laughs> okay, I'll write a note. Just grab a trouser leg in your teeth and hold them till they've read it. <laughs> to be a fine young man years later. And we can only hope that that is the case here. <laughs> oh. Did you give him the note? Yes. Was Athena there? Some of you may have heard of the Mayor's new campaign. Young Street Heroes, it's called. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll do this if you don't mind. Yes, it's an award for youngsters who contribute most to their neighbourhood. Like our very own Walter, for example. Athena will be there by now. We have to go! And now, how youngsters can help protect our neighbourhood. Lights, please, Walter. Head for the toilet, OK? <laughs> How to recognise a bad type. First, notice the eyes. Where's Athena? Oh, yeah. She texted to say she's going to be late. Oh, no! I'll have to get back then. Mum will go mad if she finds I'm not there. And Athena will go mad if she finds you're not here. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Thanks, Pieface. Just let me know the moment she arrives. Right. I'll do one of me bird calls. Easy to slip back in the dark. Ah, that's right. Up you come. As I was saying, I've specially invited two well-known local hooligans to join us. Justin, one, two, three... And so, thanks to forward planning, the hooligans are disarmed. They're gonna start playing! If anyone hears them, we're done for! earlier about noise pollution, Colonel. Uh, can we give you a demonstration? My face! I think I see Athena! I can't hear you! Yes, yes, that's enough. Thank you. That's very good. All right. Quiet. Quiet! It's wonderful to be able to call on genuine troublemakers from the locale. In order to the steps, we are taking that means Athena must be there. We can't keep her waiting or she'll throw a wobbler. What are you doing, Dennis? Uh, you know, I needed the toilet before. Uh, well, I'll do again. <laughs> and so does Nasha. OK, Nasha, you wait here. If I'm needed, bark loudly. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Athena. Uh, what's happening? You owe me one.
Man Dennis. I'm missing my nail therapist because of these idiots. We're fixing it. It's just a small explosion type thing. Can't they speed it up a bit? <laughs> no. What? Not you. Uh, no. Yes, they can. And I'm going to help too. I think I saw a loose wire uh, under the stage. I'll be back in a minute. I'm warning you. Five minutes, then I'm taking my talent elsewhere. Give us a signal the moment you're ready. I'll do me owl. Oh, wait. What happens if a real owl flies past? It won't sound like yours. Yes, up here. Up here, this way. Now, let's see what happens when a young hooligan tries to pick the lock on Walter's special lunchbox. I don't pick locks. I've never picked a lock in my life. Go on, try then. <sighs> <laughs> 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 Can I go now? <laughs> As you can see, that's one padlock that won't be picked. <sighs> that's my face. We got to go. Dennis, are you all right? Uh, yeah, Mum, uh, but uh... oh, you're very hot for someone who's just been sitting still. Perhaps you should go home. Home? Yes. Uh, great idea. I'll come with you. Actually. It might be better to stay here, in the quiet. You go back to your seat. Oh, if you're sure. But I don't want to see you stirring from here. We've got to go! Athena will be going mad! His Worship, the Mayor! No! Oh, how do we get past that lot? <laughs> you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Uh, yes, and uh, the elasticity is uh, really quite surprising, Your Worship. <laughs> it's OK, Poochie. It's only Nasha. <laughs> I don't think so, Dennis. It's so last millennium. It's OK. I'm going to change. Start the intro, guys. and they lower the tone of the neighbourhood. Dennis, I am going to make an example of you. Yes, you, because you're not like the others. I heard the gentle music you were playing. I saw you rescue that poor pup from the tree. And I heard from your mother that you've not been feeling at all well, too. Come forward, young man. You and your faithful hound are young street heroes! Yeah! Young street heroes? <laughs> Not a bad name for a band. <laughs> Free 
presenting the Menace Mark 1 Meteor, which will take me, Commander Dende, on the first pedal-powered mission to Mars! Jump in, Nasha! <laughs> Initiating leg power! <laughs> to glide control. a bike. It's a pedal-powered interplanetary cruiser. But now it's useless. Dad, I need a new bike. No. Dad, I've got a new bike. I said no. And in other news, Dennis has got a new bike. Dennis, a bike costs money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paper clip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and What's-His-Name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's gonna buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? <laughs> Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Bucks of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen. Drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr. Big Bucks wants me to go round to wretched what's his name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. Is that wretched what's-his-name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched what's-his-name, son. Come in, Governor, come in. <laughs> Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. Ooh. Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that. Everything. 
When what's his name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! Mr. Scrim. What's his name? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's the latest thing. A Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? M must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Yeah, nice try, what's his name? But your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! But, oh. All right, Dennis. What's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house. And I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. Easy peasy. Oh. Ooh. Oh, somebody's dropped that. Never know when he might need a play clip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? Whoa! <laughs> OK, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. Oh, it's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. Oh, I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. Uh, maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. Ah, oh, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I don't know. I... But, but triple it then. I need you back. What's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <sighs> So, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Wow. 
It. Allergic to his own pet. We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. Okay, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Result! <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, it's Dennis! Oh, 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 oh. Wow! Uh. Whoa! Watch it, pie face! Sorry. Falling, falling. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir! Dennis, sir! Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs. So, Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right. <sighs> huh? oh. Here we are, son. All right. I, I mean. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, uh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the uh, all the dog hairs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> oh. This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss my slippers being half chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> oh. I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? <sighs> it's time for Plan B. Etc. Oi, you nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Oh, easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh, oh my face! All right, dog. Let's be having you. 
you, you little troublemaker. Right? What the? Oh. Ha! Rolf! Rolf! Here I am, in the van. Wolf! Wolf! Best place for you, naughty sausage thief! Oh, right, who did that? It was a naughty boy, a very naughty boy! Oh, it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground them into myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where? Where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a plate of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. Ungrateful mongrel. Uh, I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I think? It is. It is. <gasps> Away, oh, hey, hey! The coolest computer game console ever. It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. 
Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. I input the game code and Rock Guitar Legend becomes Air Violin Legend. <laughs> Game over. I win. Ha! Next. OK, what's the game this time? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> I didn't know he could moonwalk. I win again. Easy when you know the dancers that score the most points. <laughs> How do you know that? Busted. That's why you're so good. You turn games into homework. Are you talking or playing, Dennis? Or have you just turned chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Walter. Let's make this really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> I don't know. It's a deal. But if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. <laughs> Just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? <laughs> if I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form filling. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <gasps> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super-advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on away, hey! Hmm. A good citizen's home is a dust-free home. <laughs> This is 
where they make the way here. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Denismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Mo! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs> What do we do now? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a manual for this game. See you later, fellas. <laughs> have fun. It's officially summer! I'm 
Hang on. Where are you off to? I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, pie face. Savour the taste of freedom. OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, all right, let's go! School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely you can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <laughs> Colonel, has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! <laughs> We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. For some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike... A month! ..and I cycled through some wet cement. Six months! ..and some thorny bushes... Two years! But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years! Dennis! How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded! But what for? For ever! <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded. I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah. After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis! It's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room! You too, Nasha. <laughs> now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Stray pups! Oh. I caught these 
to trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. <laughs> I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Quiet? Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Mm. <laughs> oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. Lovely to see you here. Yes, I know. Yeah. Oh, grounding Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it, but only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh. <laughs> and now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! Yes, B, it's a horsey. No, what 
Then why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! <laughs> Parsley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. <laughs> What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Gran, what's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. Oh, she is in a mood. That's because nobody's got any. Hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. <laughs> We're horsey. Any minute. Now, love, Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Because we're mates, Curly, and mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse, so no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussie! Hussie! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Nay! B! No! Horsey! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Okay. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, ah. Oh, Father, you must take more care. We're horsey. <laughs> <gasps> Got 
a horse with him, has he? OK, I'll, uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right! before we get into any more trouble. Well, see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seems to be a change of rider. Heavens! Time on the I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely Ooh. tiny. Ooh. Can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is B. And that's Dennis. Hang on, B. We're coming! Wheelie, Gran! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster, Gran! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. I'm here, <laughs> Faster, Grand! Right side. At least B was happy. Even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go then. Giddy up! 